Hey, everybody. Hi, lovely. So, I just got it back into the city. I'm here at Grand Central Station. Hi, Pierre. Hi, happy weekend. How are you guys? So, I decided I'm going to see if it's not too bad out. I'll walk home. <laughs> Here's what you're gonna taxi. Hi, Mashi. Hi, everybody. If you, I didn't see you come in, there you can get a ride on a bike. Hi, Michael. Grand Central. Somewhere else for once, right? <laughs> Hi, Rodriguez. Here, look. Here's the Chrysler building. It's like foggy, misty out. Hi, Ab. How are you, Paul? How are you, Micah? There's Grand Central, the statues. Hi, Johnny. Oh, look at this, Belgian chocolates. How did I almost miss that? <laughs> what a beautiful sight. <gasps> I'm good, thanks. It's Sunday. We're going to take a walk down um, Park Avenue. See, everybody's standing here waiting for a taxi, when in fact, they should cross the street, for one, unless they're going in that direction, or get on a side street. Hi, First. Hi, Momo. Get some wet chocolate. Oh, no, it's closed. But I'm going to show you Grand Central Station. It's such a beautiful building. Monday, you have Monday already? Monday, Monday, so good to me. Monday morning, good, how there would be. Hi, lovely. Bonjour, Momo. Comment ça va? Isn't that a pretty building? We're gonna be seeing it from various stages of distance. So here's where we're starting out. And it's so foggy and fun out. Hi, Mr. Briss. All right. I'm sorry if I missed anything anybody joined in or said, because I was looking to. Merci, très bien. Hey, Steve. All right, we're going to go down Park Avenue, so let's cross the street before the lights change. Hi, Mr. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Hi. All right, here's Grand Central from across the street. Isn't that pretty? Fait pas trop chaud, no. Mais il fait pas trop froid non plus. Um, I've been having a good weekend. I don't get much sleep on the weekends. But this is the Pershing Square Plaza, Grand Central Terminal. Hi, Job. Hi, Trev. UK in the house. Ah oui, merci. <laughs> Mais ça fait bien longtemps depuis que j'ai parlé uh, couramment. Hey, Bam. Okay, so we're blocked from going down Park Avenue on that side. So we'll have to go down the other side. I remember when this was a store. Here's me. You can't really see me. Ah. <laughs> oh, Montpellier, en France. Hi, Yogi. Hi, anybody who joined. It's so like misty and perfect out, you guys. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Hi, Ayap. Welcome, anybody, if you joined. This is a bike pavilion, I guess, now. These are city bikes. You can rent them. Cars used to come all the way down here, but now I guess it's closed. There's Grand Central again. Hi, Kirsty. And over at the Met Life building, which, in fact, used to be called the Pan Am building half of my life. Pan Am was an airline company. So you can rent these bikes, city bikes, for half an hour. Ah, 
we may fall. Who's there? Deflection. Hi, hi, Spotter. Hi, Fahad. Welcome, Forest. Hi, Yogi. Um, hey, Pierre. I wasn't here for the marathon. I just got back into the city. I heard it was good. Okay, here's the Grand Central from this distance. Hi, Jan. Spotter Scope. <laughs> That's a good name. All right, now we're going into traffic land. So I'll go on the right side of the street. Uh, no, I don't. If I'm going to take a taxi, I'm going to take a yellow cab. Are you kidding? That's a New York taxi. Like there. I mean, I guess the other ones are New York taxis too, but I don't like the whole thing. I like the idea of just hailing a random taxi that worked really hard for their medallion and <laughs> paid a lot of money for it. I guess. A lot of people like it. I don't know. I've never tried it. I, I have a car service I call in New York called New Day, but they've just been around forever by word of voice. There's Grand Central from this distance, because you know why I'm showing it to you so close? Because in a minute it's going to be like too hard to see. Hi, Barbara. You get a little bit further down and all of a sudden it's like, wow, that looks really far away. So here's a little plaza, there's a little fountain. There's a big building. <laughs> I usually just show you guys my quiet little neighborhood, but seeing as I'm in a walking mood, I thought I might as well show you guys my walk home tonight. We're going from 40th Street to 1st, and the street blocks, there every 20 street blocks, north and south is a mile. So that's 20, 40, that's about two miles. Time is, I don't know, seven-ish, eight? I don't know, I got laid late tonight. Here, look at it from this distance. And that's a bridge. Isn't that cool? Hi, Alex. Hey, Job. Good, good, good. It's probably, I mean, I should be able to tell what time it is. Maybe I'll find a um, clock somewhere. But you know what's going to happen? We're going to walk past how many street blocks is a mile? 20. So if we're going from 42nd to 1st, that's two miles north-south. But we're also going from Park over to the East Village. So that's about another mile. So maybe two and a half, three miles. Christmas? <laughs> Who's there? Um, well, I like, I like presents. I mean, getting them and giving them to people, mostly. Hi, Bora. Oh, look. Everybody's out and about having drinks in a big bar. This must be like a after, like, work hotspot. Hi, Michael. Are you having bad reception? You guys, is this a bad reception? It looks pretty clear to me. I fancy a beer. I usually have one or two on the weekend. I had one this weekend. I'm really f partial right now to one called um, Captain Kolsch. It's made by Captain Lawrence Brewing Company from Elmsford, New York. Look, here's another distance. It looks clear? Okay, good. I didn't want to stop it. Now look how small it's starting to look. When just a minute ago it was like way over our heads. Isn't that so funny? Perspective wise. Okay, our turn. There's the walking man. But see, even like now at night it's still so much traffic and busy. People are, let's see, most people are maybe going home or just coming back from the weekend. Hey Rama at this time of night, or just going to dinner. There's millions of people. Oh, he must have run in the race. They had a marathon today. 
Look, yes, here's another race race person's tag. Wherever you are, I just periscoped your number. <laughs> Everyone follow Jane. Aw, thanks, Deflection. New York City, no, never sleeps. Hey, 706. Basically, if you want to see New York just like in a random way, that's what I do. <laughs> what I do get in straight to bed? Oh, yeah, I wish. Oh my gosh, no. When I get in, I have work, 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 work. <sighs> this is my only break. Oh, it is? Oh, welcome, Spatter. This is my only break, and look at me. I can't even do that. With like, I'm like, oh, wait, let me periscope it. <laughs> I'm like one of those people. I want to show you from this distance, but we're losing the light. There, I'm going to get run over by a taxi. So next block, it's going to look even tinier. Okay, here's the church. I don't know what church it is. Hey, Felonia. And we're on Park Avenue South, which means it's south of um, that divider thing. You see? You see how my life cuts Fifth Avenue in half? North of that is Park Avenue North. So Park Avenue is, um, oh, thanks, Deflection. Um, Park Avenue is one of the oldest avenues, like when New York was making itself in the beginning. It's like the main, one of the main drags. And so there's a lot of old money here. Oh, look, the Empire State Building's completely foggy away. You can't even see it. Look, that's the Empire State Building. Because <laughs> we're at 37th Street. So maybe, maybe if we all think really hard for a minute, we can get a clearing in the mist and see it. <laughs> I know, right? I thought it was going to look cool to show you because we could see the Chrysler Building at the beginning. Hi, Yari. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh. Honestly, it's hard to understand. Hi, M MT. How are you? Hey, Twix. Oh, flowers. Look, we're not going to have too many more flowers. Although they do put out other things, like those red ones. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Hey, Cap. All right, let's see it from here. It's, you're going to be so surprised how little it starts looking. And we're not even that far away from it. Hey, Signature. Hi, Warren. How are you? Here, let me go in the middle of the street to show you. Look, there it is down there. Hi, Jay. Uh, hi, how are you, Warren? Oops. I'm like, I'm not, shouldn't be in the middle of the street. <laughs> Even if it is a Sunday night and not so much traffic. Oh, good. I'm glad. You're, you ha you're in tomorrow already. It still blows me away that like people f we, from on the other side of the whole planet, we can talk at the same minute. It's still like a weird magic for me. Like the fact that you're in Japan and the other people are wherever. <laughs> it's just crazy. And we're all talking at the same second while I'm walking down the street. Like anybody that's older than like 20, do does it sound like really weird? <laughs> hey, La hey, Tab. Hey, Warren. Hey, 2L. <laughs> I mean, come on. I st okay, and now I'm saying how old I am, but I remember reading Dick Tracy in the newspaper, 13, and saying, like, a video watch on someone's wrist. In fact, it was so out, out there, I was, like, annoyed by the whole cartoon, by this ludicrous concept. 
And here I am talking to people from in Warren's in Japan. I have a gang of followers. Good. Look, okay, we can see it. <gasps> Look, all of our collective wishes where it came true. We can see some of it. How are you too, Al? Oh, thanks, Yogi. Hey, Felonia. Hey, Jim. Jim Marie. There's the Empire Street Building. It's very foggy tonight. And we are on Park Avenue South going downtown. They made a watch. There's the Grand Central Station we just came from. And I gotta get out of the street. <laughs> Hi, GM. Yeah, I love New York. They made a watch like that, yeah, a video watch. But this is so much cooler. To f I mean, I guess they have it now on people's. Look at those little puppies. Warren, are you getting cut out because of this, the fogginess of New York? Hi, Angel. You're sleepy. Okay, Michael, have a good night. Sleep well. Thanks for stopping in. And have a good Monday morning. Oh, look at those pretty ones. Before you go. Hey. Hi. Those are like spiky ones. So people like have red flowers out. Hey, Bluey. Oh, Kreb, hi. How did you, how was your Halloween? What did you do with your costume? You guys, Kreb is like amazing Halloween costumer who came to New York and we got, went to Webster Hall. Hi, London. Hi, Hizer. Last year, and he and his friend won first prize for the costumes. <laughs> it was great. Where did you go? What did you do? Did you join a costume? I mean, a contest? Here, look, there's the Empire State Building. We can see it. Atlantic City, woo. Paul, we're in sync with the time, 7.45. Oh, do you guys not follow when we change every year? That's so funny, I always wonder what the rest of the world did. Yeah, it's very foggy. Hi, Ina. Hello, how are you, London? Hi, Slippery. You don't change, that's so funny. Now I'm gonna show you how far away Grand Central really looks. And there's the Smoky Empire State Building. Hola, Victor, como estas? Okay, now look how far away Grand Central is. Isn't that so funny? That's where we started if you just joined in. We started right into Grand Central and it was big and over us with big statues and bridges and stuff and now it's so tiny <laughs> pretty soon we won't see it no world trade center is down there oh yes good i'm glad you're coming to new york to see us too um World Trade Center is very, very lejos de aquí. It's por voy allá, al sur. No, it's the Puerto de Le. Hi, London. I only pretend like I know how to speak Spanish. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Louis. Hey, Victor. Here's that subway entrance book. It's still nice out, I'm just going to keep walking. Fancy que es a Puerto. Puerto no es Nueva York. Que linda. Ah, buenos. Muy contente. I'm glad the people think it's pretty. It is pretty New York. People are just coming back from dinner, theater. Theater starts from 8 and it goes to like... Uh, 10 and then people go out to eat dinner oh my gosh deflection thank you men's warehouse for guys if you need to get there's this whole ad campaign you're gonna love the way you look I guarantee it <laughs> um, oh hi Lewis I show myself at the end of the scope because it can cut people off who are on the other side of the planet this giant planet 
Oh, thank you, Spotter. Look at this beautiful entry. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? That's just like a building, an office building. Look how pretty that is. It's like the arch is in somewhere. I've seen it in pictures of somewhere across the world. Hey, B. Isn't that so pretty? Look at those chandeliers, too. It's actually a reflection. There's only one. It's one, 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 but it looks like there's two. <laughs> Krebs, so what did you went to Atlantic City? Did you join a co costume um, contest? Did you win? Your costume should have won. You should have seen what he made this year. Hey, ST. All right, so now we're at 32nd Street, which means we've walked 10 blocks, which means that's a half a mile from when we started. So now, look, you can't see Grand Central because we went down a little hill. That was, that's over there. And um, so that's one quarter of the length of this walk I'm taking because we're going to do three more sets of 10 blocks. <laughs> which is three times ten is thirty you know my third grade math teacher was so mean you couldn't leave for lunch until you answered a multiplication problem <laughs> and I was so bad at it and so nervous because she always had sunglasses on I was one of the last people and she would look at me and she would go ten times one and be really snotty about it <laughs> Good night, who's going? Okay, bye, Victor. Here, look at this statue before you go. It looks like humanity being nice to each other. I don't know if you can see it. Ciao. Buenas noches. And here's a cart with kebabs and stuff, if you are hungry. Ciao. Hey, Louis. Arkansas. Arkansas in the house. What's your name? Brand. Brandon. Hi, Pio. It's very hard. Oh, look at that pretty dress. So sparkly. Hi, Bruce. And for anybody just joining, this is Park Avenue in New York City, and we're walking south. Hey, Felonia. And it's Sunday night in November, and we just had daylight savings today, so it's really an hour later, but it's only an hour earlier. So everyone's feeling like they have extra energy, <laughs> like I'm walking home. <sighs> Feloni. Hi. And this is a building that's just got a pretty light on it. I don't know why. They always had it since they ever entered up their building. They had this strip of lights on the side as a decoration, I guess. I don't know if they've ever changed the color. I never quite really remember what the last time I saw the color was. Hey, Ohio. You would be scared? Oh, no. Brandon, New York is like, the great part about New York is nobody cares at all what you're doing. Nobody. <laughs> all right, so look, there's a, like a, a wall that's a waterfall. As long as you don't get in anyone else's way or impede someone else's existence, it's like, do whatever the heck you want. It's like totally infinite here. And once you know where to go, and hi, RZR. And most, if you're gonna go somewhere, it's, you it shouldn't go, you should probably bring a big dog with you. I used to walk all over the place. I had two giant dogs. <laughs> um, <laughs> there, one of them was a Turkish Kangal, if anybody knows what that is. <laughs> Hi, Singh. 
But honestly, other than that, like, like one of the things I used to do with those dogs, which I wouldn't do with, by myself, is we used to walk on the um, Turkish Kangal. Yes, I had one. His name was Choban. He was amazing. And we would walk down the, west, the east side park and halfway down towards the bottom of Manhattan. Um, my Mofi. I don't know if it's charged. We'll have to maybe end the scope. Oh, they're amazing dogs. Oh my gosh. And so smart and so good.